Hello and welcome to the last session of the second edition of the HPP Innovation Week. We hope you've been enjoying it so far. I'm Maria Barreal, Technical Sales Manager at Hyperbike, and I'm very glad to present this session about sustainability in the HPP industry. Before starting with the presentation, I have to say that I'm very commit committed and involved in this exciting topic. I had the chance to study an international master about sustainable development, and now I have the opportunity to put it to good use with Hyperbike. All the Hyperbike team has a continuous responsibility to study better alternatives in our processes and to put them into practice. I hope you have attended the previous session with our CEO, Miguel Hernando, where he has talked about the corporative actions and our compromises with sustainable development goals. To the start of this session, and as I'm sure all of you know, the world population is rapidly increasing and it's imperative to develop and use food processing technologies with a low impact on the environment and to promote the responsible and sustainable use of resources. So all of us must be aware about how food is being produced and how the food sector is evolving in their processes. So firstly, and to take place ourselves in context, I will briefly define the concept of sustainability in the HPP industry. This complex concept means that industries seek to achieve sustainable production and consumption in order to prevent pollution, reduce waste generation, and promote the reuse and recycling of waste. Consequently, high pressure processing is presented as a strategic tool for development of more sustainable industry within the food sector. HPP reduces food waste. Food waste is a critical global problem with environmental and economic consequences and we can find food waste in every sector. Here you can see in this infographic same data. And unfortunately, every year, the figures in food waste keep climbing. With the exception of contaminated food that may be dangerous to consumers, the other reasons are no excuse for contributing to food waste. HPP technology can help reduce it by multiplying shelf life of products because of the inactivation of foodborne pathogens, and so increasing food safety, which in turn reduces the number of recalls of unsafe products. In this graphic below, you can see an example of listeria inactivation in dry cured ham by HPP, where the blue bar shows the count after being processed at 6,000 bar five minutes. In our next session, we will talk about circular economy and its business model. HPP reduces energy and water requirements. The use of HPP technology can lead to substantial water and energy savings when compared to other food processing technology, having a lesser impact on the environment. Regarding energy, it has been shown that HPP requires less energy per kilogram of food than conventional thermal processes. In fact, a study from 2020 compared the impact of processing orange juice with HPP and thermal pasteurization. The authors concluded that HPP is on average less environmentally impactful than thermal pasteurization, resulting in fewer carbon emissions. If we talk about water consumption, it's important to remark that around 85% of the water is recirculated into the main tank of the machine and then reuse it in the next cycle. This is a process that just uses water and there is no generation of polluted wastewater. Furthermore, the other 15% of the water used in the process can be reused for other purposes like, for example, the cleaning of the facilities. On the other hand, impact HPP technology ensures the equipment is not contaminated since the products are in their final packaging. It requires less aggressive cleaning of the machines and there's no need to sterilize the packaging with aggressive products. As a result of this, 
there is a reduction of chemical amounts in liquid ethylenes. HPP permits to have final products with a clean label since the technology gives the possibility of reducing preservatives and salt contents while, pre while preserving the nutritional and organoleptic characteristics of the first product. It's been already said that SPP extends shelf life of a wide range of products, so it allows food producers to have higher flexibility in their production schedules and gives the consumers more time for consuming the foods before they go to waste. Regarding the packaging and taking into account the topic of this session, HPP final products can be accommodated in containers that are more environmentally friendly. There are some, some innovative companies offering alternative packaging solutions to traditional ones. Some of our clients are already able to offer the HPP products packed with RPET, PLA, biodegradable solutions, or in kegs for bigger volumes. To drill down into this subject, I highly recommend checking out the videos Exploring Sustainable Packaging for HPP Beverage Products with Captiva Containers and Least Packaging, and the world's first HPP cake for juices and beverages with Petainer. Both sessions are from our first edition in the Innovation Week. I leave you the links here for easy access. Keeping you in the loop about sustainability, it's necessary to communicate that Hyperbike has the compromise to keep on improving HPP technology. All of the staff have the commitment in each area, and especially those inside the engineer department. Our engineers work continuously on innovative solutions to achieve a reduction of the environmental impact of our equipment from its conception to the end of its useful life. As a result of this, and after some years of R&D, we launched the hyperbaric inbox technology, an innovative global breakthrough for the large production of HPP beverages. The first machine was installed at Hermes Boisson in Paris in 2020. This technology has several advantages from a sustainable point of view. It reduces steps in the manufacturing chain and in consequence, simplifies the process. Beverages are processed in bulk, which leads to a filling efficiency of the machine's vessel of 90%. Consequently, more products are treated in each batch. Hence, less energy and water consumption are used per liter of product, and therefore the processing cost is lower. Another advantage is the freedom to choose the type of packaging for the beverages without the constraints of the packaging be being suitable for HPP, since the products are processed before the packaging. This allows for a wider range of sustainable packaging options that can be used. I recommend you attend the next session, Innovative Sustainable Packaging Solutions for HPP Juices and Beverages with Just Preset, and discover how they use the innovative technology. Finally, I leave you with these conclusions. Nowadays, we can say that high process processing is contributing in a very important and positive way with regards to the environment, producing food products while economizing in water and electricity compared to other conventional treatments. The energy, water, and food savings promoted by the use of HPP have an impact on the entire food chain and therefore directly influence environmental protection. Moreover, thanks to the HPP process, we can extend the shelf life of the products and in consequence, reduce the food waste in a very significant way. So, let's promote and use HPP technology for a more sustainable, healthier and trusted food industry. Keep an eye on this topic. See you then. Bye.